open your mind. Push reset and reboot your computer. Hi everybody, uh, welcome to Sunfellas. Um you know me as T, and for those who don't know and haven't seen the show before, welcome. Today we have a very special guest, um, I'm very proud of, of what she's doing, uh, you all, you all, all of you all who follow me, my website, or anything to do with uh, China Dolly Productions would know um, my guest as the lead actress for my film, my short film, Angel's Ashes, um, Samantha Novak, or Sam, and uh, she has a wonderful uh, short film coming up and coming very soon actually, uh, it's about to start filming, and so I, take, I took this opportunity to have a interview with her, because I was a miss very remiss in um, not having an interview with her for our AA. Um, so I hope you enjoy it and uh, follow her on Queers Limited. Uh, I will leave the link below. It's where, as I told you before, you can follow all the artists and filmmakers that we have interviewed over uh, the year of our existence. Uh, we are gathering more and more artists, so please follow them, follow their work, and help fund all these wonderful projects that are coming along in the pipeline. Okay, uh, so let's get right to it. Uh, welcome, Sam. How are you? I'm doing good, T. Thanks for having me. Uh, I uh, wanted to find out, before we got into um, your project, uh, A Butterfly, I wanted to find out, since I did not have the opportunity, or I didn't give myself the opportunity to interview you for um, Angel's Ashes itself, I just wanted to find out, um, considering that you and I, uh, at least I consider you and I beyond f friends, uh, beyond the, the working aspect of everything, I think we've become friends, but I, I'm so sorry that I didn't get to interview you. I think uh, the opportunity just didn't present itself. Um, how was the whole experience like making Angel's Ashes for you? T, we've become like BFFs over the last couple of months, so no worries about the Angel's Ashes interview. We can talk about it now. Hopefully most of our viewers have already seen the film. If you haven't, I really suggest that you go and check it out. It is still up on YouTube. Um, on T's YouTube channel. Um, as far as my experience with Angel's Ashes is definitely, I can honestly say, is the most important and precious film that I've done to date. Um, it was a little bit difficult being the lead character and also the casting director in a small area. We did shoot this in Green Bay, Wisconsin, so getting the right amount of talent and the locations was um, a little bit of a task, but however, I'm I am very happy with its end result. I think everybody's performance did really well, minus a couple of lighting and audio issues, which hopefully we are going to get fixed and revamped and we'll be able to re-release in higher quality. Um, I think Angel's Ashes has great potential. I know it does, and I think that might be something that we're going to talk about again in the future. Well, I was very, very, very glad to have you uh, as my lead actress and... Uh, I know we have a lot to tell the audience about that, but we will leave that uh, because right now, um, as you know, I'm going to be talking about your upcoming um, project, A Butterfly, and several other projects that I think that uh, you have coming up. 
but AA is a short drama, right? Um, I know that you've written the script and that you are acting in it, but you're also directing the film. Um, is this the first time that you've done all three, with the exception of acting? Several people have told me never to write, direct, and act in your own film, but I cannot learn from other people's mistakes. I have to make the mistakes on my own, so hopefully it'll go over well. Yes, this is my first time doing all three. Um, I've obviously acted before. A Butterfly is the first script that I've written. I actually wrote it last year, um, but it isn't until obviously now that we're getting it off the ground, and it was the first time me actually writing um, a screenplay, but since writing a butterfly, I've written a couple of different other things. So I'm writing seems to be taking off in an, its own little direction. As far as directing, I haven't done it before. Um, I guess we'll just kind of we'll see how it goes. Um, that's that's how it is. If I make if I if I learn whatever uh, what everybody else has told me, then I learn it that way. That's okay. <laughs> Could you tell the audience um, exactly what a butterfly story, the storyline behind the um, film? What I can say about a butterfly is that it is a short dramatic film um, based around two main characters that are two girls who are best friends. And um, the, the title of butterfly comes from um, if you see the, if you've seen the movie poster, the tagline on there says, "What could you be if you could be anything?" or something like that. <laughs> I created it. I don't even know what it says, but it, it's along those lines. And um, the character that I play, um, it's a very significant part of the film where I say, "I would be a butterfly because butterflies are beautiful creatures. They can fly and they can be free." And um, that's kind of where the title comes from. It's about these girls that um, they get together, they have these conversations. However, without, it's one of these films I cannot really tell you the whole plot because it has quite an ending that leaves the audience wondering what really happened. We'll just say that tragedy kind of strikes after um, a couple of meetings with these two girls and it changes both of their lives forever very dramatically. And like I said at the end, it's kind of up to the viewer to figure out what really happened. Um, it does have some heavy material in it, but I was also told from somebody who has read the script that it was a very beautiful story. So that's um, pretty much what I can say about A Butterfly until you guys are able to see it. Have you secured actors? Yes, I do have my actors secured. Um, for this being a short film, I only have a four character cast, which is really easy. Um, the two leads are myself and my sister, Allison Novak, who also played the role of Lindsay in Angel's Ashes. So um, it is me and my sister playing the two leads. We also have first-time actor Jeremy June and also um, another local experienced actor named Steve Gala, who I've worked with a couple of different times, and I'm very excited to work with him again. So we have our cast set, and um, the filming will be done by Lucky Cha and Vince Nardi. How far along are you in the production? Um, as far as how long we are in production, the script is written, the characters are cast, the locations are set, we have props and stuff, we have, um, for the most part, call sheets are just about finished. Um, we have Jess Walker, who scored Angel's Ashes, is also going to be scoring a butterfly, which is really great. We're, um, we have it set up that hopefully within a month or so, we'll, we'll have a trailer out for a butterfly. We're looking at a release date at um, of December of this year at the absolute latest. There is a Facebook page made for the film, so please go and find it and like it, like it, so that we can get some support. It would be really great. We'd also like to get a um, website up and running so as soon as possible. Tell me about the characters for the film. Um, as far as the characters go in the film, like I said, it's based about these two girls. My character is a little bit more of a dramatic life. She is abused, um, doesn't have much self-confidence, depressed in a way. Um, the co the other lead, my, who my sister is playing, just um, kind of your normal girl. I mean, she doesn't totally understand what my character is going through, but is there for her anyway. Um, the character that Jeremy June will be playing is um, my drunken, abusive father. 
Um, as far as our fourth character, I have to actually leave him in the dark because he's our big mystery. That's that's when the that's when the story turns and he comes into the story. And I can't really give away his character without giving away the storyline. <laughs> it seems as a very character-driven um, piece. Uh, is this your favorite, uh, and also a drama, is this your favorite genre, or do you prefer another, or it really doesn't matter? A Butterfly is definitely a real-life drama. If you had to categorize it, definitely the genre it would be in is a drama, and I would actually say it's pretty, it's kind of similar to the style that Angel's Ashes was was filmed in at least the storyline and I I can honestly say yes that is my favorite genre I've done all sorts of different stuff I mean I, I love comedy believe it or not I'm a, I'm a goofball at heart me and my sister make just stupid little comedies um, all the time but and a majority of my work I have done horror films um, call me the scream queen if you will um, however I, I I enjoy acting as it is I can do whatever but um when it comes to drama that would definitely be my favorite genre being that you are able to use i mean real life expression and emotion i mean i think that's that's what am i trying to say that is more risky and more it takes more talent out of it takes more out of you to be able to portray characters in a dramatic type film as opposed to any other kind of genre so that's what I'm kind of going for with A Butterfly. Um, when you finished filming A Butterfly, do you intend to submit it to uh, festivals? Or, you know, how, how, can, how can the audience, how can we all see the film? Oh, absolutely. That was the intention was that once A Butterfly is finished was to submit it everywhere that we can for exposure. We also, at least in this area, want to have a premiere party when it's finished for the cast and crew and families and um, friends and whatnot. Um, so we're definitely going to be doing that. We'll probably be doing, for, as for those who want to see the film and are not in this area when it's finished, we'll probably be doing something similar to what Angel's Ashes did about putting it up on YouTube, um, getting a website up and running so that we can put the film up there. Um, at, after the premiere party, we probably will be selling um, copies of the DVDs. And if, if for whatever reason, I mean, if somebody wants to get a hold of this film and is able to see it, we'll make sure that it is able to happen. And if not, I mean, all you got to do is contact me. Could you tell me when shooting um, will start? Well, today is Tuesday, August something. <laughs> I don't know when you're going to air this tea, but um, shooting starts very soon. It starts this Saturday on August 20th. And we're looking at wrapping on the following Saturday, August 27th. So hopefully during that one week span, we'll get all of the filming out of the way and then we can start post-production right away. Well, I would like to find out, you know, a little bit about you yourself in terms of uh, how long you have you had this uh, acting bug, um, the thirst for filmmaking. Were you formally trained? <laughs> I have had the acting bug for as long for as long as I remember. I was programmed since a little girl to want to play my whole life that's that's what I want to do as a career I want to model and take pictures I want to make movies and um, play different characters be different people that's what I've always wanted to do um, as I mean I we really I really enjoyed making films with my brother and sister and whatnot in high school and getting involved in any different kinds of projects in which I could display a different character um, it's probably about 2008 when I started getting involved in more production work. Um, that's when I that's when I filmed my first feature, and ever since that first feature that I filmed in 2008, things just kept rolling in and rolling in. It's been project after project after project, and um, it's it's been a blast. I I absolutely love it, and I'm hoping to take it to farther levels. I just it's just who I am. <laughs> well, I think I have just one more question, and that is, um, were you formally trained? No, I was never formally trained. I maybe I've taken one or two acting courses in college. Other than that, um, 
anything that I can display on the screen, um, I have learned from real life and 